Ooh, looks like producer Mason's got something on his mind. I have a question. It's not necessarily related to a lot of the legal stuff. It's okay. Let's maybe hear just it. in general market advice. Yep. Uh, the Fed has talked about raising interest rates in the in the coming months and yep. and potentially towards the end of the year. Yep. Don't really know when that's going to happen, but yep. they've said it's going to happen. Yep. How do you think that's going to affect people's well, buying decisions? And and I think we've talked about it earlier in the show, but I think it's a good reminder. Well, sitting here right now on a Saturday, wondering what's going on in Russia and the Ukraine and all over the world. At the moment, it, it doesn't look like the Fed is going to do that in the very near term. It looks like they've kind of pulled back and said, hold on, we're not going to throw any fuel on the crazy fire that's happening in the world right now. Now, initially, they had said um, they had hoped to raise rates three or four times over the course of 2022. Um, and, and they never really said this publicly, but the insider info said the goal was probably to increase rates about one percentage point over the course of the year. Now, not everybody agrees on that, but that's the most popular thing people were saying. So that looked like probably a quarter point bump four times or, or some average of that. I never thought that was gonna happen. I never thought they would do all of that in one year. Now, I understand why they're trying to do it. They're trying to curb inflation. Um, there's, believe it or not, people that are worried about deflation and a whole nother ball of wax called stagflation. But um, the reality is the short answer that I think will serve homeowners, buyers and sellers of real estate, is that uh, it doesn't look like um, they're going to pressure that quite as much. Now, as, as recently as a day ago, uh, Jerome Powell, uh, Fed chairman, uh, said that he expects a quarter point increase from the Fed for the Federal Reserve rate by the end of the month. Now, that might change. Uh, but if that happens, rates have crept down a little bit earlier this week. Uh, not a, not enough for most people to notice, but we're talking about two different rates, and I want to be clear. The Federal Reserve rate is different than your residential mortgage rate. Most people believe that mortgage rates generally follow the Fed Reserve rate, and that's historically usually true, not always. But when the Federal Reserve changes rates, they're not changing mortgage rates. They're changing the rate at which banks can borrow from the government, basically. Now, someone's going to email me and say that's not exactly right, but generally speaking, that's right. So you have lending institutions that can borrow money at one rate. They can turn around and lend it out at a slightly higher rate. Mortgages are a unique animal because most mortgages are done under guidelines from Fannie Mae, Freddie Mae, that kind of thing, so that they can later be bundled and sold off. Uh, so they have to meet let's just call it the same five major criteria because then someone says, hey, I'll buy a bunch of loans, usually the government, if they all meet this criteria. So if they all do, then the, the lender who's giving you the mortgage knows I can turn around and sell that. I'm not actually gonna give you a loan and wait for 30 years for you to pay me and for me to make a little bit of money every month. Most loan officers, loan originators are operating under a model where they're selling you what what's called a conforming loan. It conforms to uh, those big criteria so they can be sold off. That leads to mortgage-backed securities, which people don't like that word because of what happened in 2007 and eight. But that's the story behind all that, which I know is a long answer. But I think it matters to people to know why that stuff moves around. When things are hard, why is it going up? Well, slightly less debt uh, tends to stabilize things, and that's the goal. That makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't to everyone. And the truth is it makes sense to us because we talk about it all the time and uh, we're in the business day to day. But I get it if someone listening goes, what? And the reality is if you have mortgage questions, you should reach out to Patrick Glaros. That's what I do. I'm literally in the process right now 